What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys more competitive ranked level battles for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing something that I have never used on the channel before, which is Life or Milotic. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, let's go. Get on top of that, scroll down a little bit, and click that big red subscribe button to join the community. But like I said, we have never used Life or Milotic on the channel, which is kind of crazy considering we have hundreds of Pokemon Sword and Shield videos. So this one's going to be fun to showcase this Pokemon to its fullest potential. But let's get started here with that team preview. We got my getting started with the queen of this team right here competitive nature life orb as item if i can get competitive triggered with the life orb on top of it it's pretty much ggs we're gonna roll out with this pokemon probably dynamax it and just sweep out we got coil to set up stats muddy water for stab icy wind for speed control and recover to get hp back Right next to Milotic is going to be Zacian. Great restricted mon, one of the best in this format. Interpret Sword, Rusted Sword, obviously for its item and ability to get that plus one speed boost every time we hop into battle. We got Iron Head, we got Sacred Sword, we have Protect, and we have Substitute to set this Pokemon up. Middle left is going to be Landorus. Intimidate Landorus, I should say, with that Assault Vest, EQ, Rock Slide, Fly, U-Turn, nothing too special, nothing you guys haven't seen before. Grimmsnarl is right next to him as a support mom for this team with Pranktors and Leftovers so we can get HP at the end of every single turn. We got Bulk Up to bulk our attack stat and our defense stat at the same time. Spirit Break for stab and special attack drops. Sucker Punch for first turn priority and Light Screen just to set up a screen to help us soak up some special attacking shots. Bottom left corner is going to be Zapdos, and Zapdos is so good in Dynamax format. One of the better Pokemon in the Dynamax format. Just works super well, resists a lot of typing, and it can hit hard with a great move pool. It's got Static. We gave this thing a safety goggles, and then we got Eerie Impulse for special attack drop, Roost to get HP back, Hurricane for stab, and Thunderbolt for stab. Final Pokemon on the squad is the one and only Incineroar. I'm just going to stop there. You guys know plenty about Incineroar. It's Intimidate. It's got its normal moveset. Actually, let me go over this one, considering it's a tad bit different. We got Intimidate. We got Citrus Berry as item. Parting Shot, Fake Out, Flare Blitz. And then, for a coverage move, we have Close Combat. So, pretty cool. I kind of dig it. I kind of dig it. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Life Orb Milotic team. Let's grab ourselves a win here. We are going up against a pretty cool Lugia team that features Ndidi, Raichu, Dragonite, Liberio, Cinerace, and Wimscott. I believe this is weakness policy Lugia, and one of these Pokemons can trigger it. I'm thinking maybe the Dragonite can trigger it. We'll see. We'll see, but who should I go into, and how should I lead this one? We have Lugia, who is special attacking, so I might just want to go into Incineroar and potentially just parting shot on it, because Lugia is not that great without its weakness policy. So it's definitely holding weakness policy, and we got to get after it. So I could actually lead Grimmsnarl and just set up a Light Chain, because Light Chain could be great all around. I think he's going to maybe lead Raichu. Could definitely be to play. Raichu's kind of scary. Not really. He's just going to nuzzle me up and kind of do work from there. Potentially fake out, give me a flinch. So I am going to go into Grimmsnarl for turn one. Definitely to pr probably set up that Lich King. If he has a physical attacker, we could go into Incineroar as well. I definitely want Milotic and I want Zacian, but who should my final Pokemon be? Should it be Incineroar or should it be Landers? Considering Landers has that Assault Vest, which is really, really good. Really, really good, but I do like the fake out control with uh, Zapdos. It just works wonders. It does work wonders. Hmm. What is my play? Lando's not bad. Lando is not bad, but I do like Incineroar just for that uh, parting shot. Hmm. But I think I'm going to go Lando. I think I'm going to go Landorus just because we have the uh, Soul Fest and he has a few special attackers on the board. So I'm going to lock in Landorus, lock in Zacian, and Milotic alongside with it. And look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But guys, let me know in the comment section down below for question of the day. What are some abilities that you guys think are underrated in this game? If you guys have a few, leave them down in the comment section down below. And let me know a little bit as to why. I think Mold Breaker is a little underrated. I absolutely love Mold Breaker. If you do not know what it does, it hits through abilities. So I used to use Mold Breaker on Exigil when Mimikyu was a big threat. And then I would just hit through its uh, disguise, take it out one shot with like a smart strike or something like that, along those lines. So I really do think Mold Breaker is a little underrated. But he's going to hop in here with Raichu alongside with Lugia. And he could proc policy in Dynamax. We are just going to set up a light screen. And hmm, what do I go from here? I could fly and dip out. I could fly and dip out. But Light Screen is definitely going to pop here. We're going to send off a Light Screen. And I could go for a Rock Side, potentially get some flinches. But I think I might U-turn out. I could U-turn out, but it's just like, mm, do I U-turn out? That's a real question. Do I U-turn out? What do I say in here? I have that Assault Fest, so I'm thinking I'm just going to stay in here. Maybe just drop a Rock Slide. No, because if he has Policy, he could, uh, could dip out. But I'm just going to go into a Fly. Maybe he'll go after me with a Dynamax move. And in this case, we can just dip a shot. So he is going to Dynamax. I think he is going to proc Policy, right? He's got to proc Policy, right? Because Lugia is not that good without Policy. And we will have Light Screen up. 
But this could be great if I can dip out here and dodge a, a Dynamax move with Fly. That could be a great start for us. So he's going to Dynamax and Lugia. Very cool restricted mom, but not one of the better ones. We, we all know that Lugia is a little on the underwhelming side. <laughs> but let's see how this one plays out. Is he going to fake me out? No, he's no fake out. So he's definitely proc and policy. We're going to set up our Lichine, get that special special defense bulked up. And Volt Switch is going to come through here and proc that policy. So there's the Volt Switch. He's going to swap out, get out somebody else, and proc the policy. But what's called should outspeed him. Landers should outspeed him, and I hope, I hope he's going after Landers so we can fly and dip out the shot. Let's just see who he goes into. We shall see who he goes into. Let's make it happen. Because after this, I can just go into straight spirit breaks, drop the thing special attack, and just start dropping it down. So he's going to go into Dragonite here, and Dragonite's a little scary. Dragonite's really good. Hellstorm's going to come through here, and he outspeeds me. That's going to take out Lando. Lando, I'm sorry, you're dead. Landers is dead. Dang, dude, my plan did not work. So we had, we had the right idea, we just didn't outspeed. I thought Lugia was a bit slower, but it is what it is. It is what it is. He's going to start wasting Dynamax turns. I can go for Spirit Breaks. I could get out Zassian, which we know Zassian outspeeds. We know Zassian outspeeds. Zassian plays no games here. He plays no games. I could do that. I could definitely do that. I need to drop Spirit Breaks. So, Leftovers is going to take away from the buff of damage, which is wonderful. And Zassian said he could come in here, or I could just go straight into a Milotech, which could be good, which could be good, but... What do we think he's gonna do? So we just go into Zassian here. So we just go into Zassian here and we just start uh just start Behemoth Blade. Like it's double damage. We might as well get off as much damage as we possibly can onto this Dynamax Mon. And get after it that way. But I do dig it. I do dig it. So in this case, you know, we're just gonna go for the spirit break here. Well, I could go after Dragonite, but i mm, who do I want to go after here? We already have the light screen set up. You know what? I'm just gonna go after Dragonite with this one. And I'm just going to go for the Behemoth Blade. I do not see Lugia really taking me out in one shot. Because he does not have a super effective move. But he's just going to withdraw Dragon Knight, which is totally fine. He's going to go into... Who's he going into? Raichu's going to come back out here. Okay, so Raichu comes out here. That's kind of fine. I think he's just going to start nuzzling up on me. Is he guarding? He's not guarding. So Blade's going to come out here. Do a decent amount of damage. Lugia is really, really bulky. So I don't expect this to do too, too much. But it is double damage, which is great. Oh my god, that did a lot more than I expected. So that's really good. That's really good here. Max Quake's going to fly through. And this thing's really rocking Quake. Can we eat that? I don't know if we're going to be able to. Can we eat that? We do. Okay, so Zassian eats up. He can potentially fake me out. I am going to protect my Zassian this turn and just go from there. Because I can definitely see a fake out, a nuzzle, something along those lines coming after me. So we shall see. Spear break coming through here. Uh, Built and doing at least half. That's wonderful news. That's wonderful news because I can protect Zassian here and then get after that. Uh, get after that Raichu. Or do I protect Zassian? What's my call here? What is my call here? Hmm, because we still have Dynamax. I'm just going to save it for Milo. I think Milo can come out here and pretty much sweep this battle, right? Milo's looking good. Milo's looking good in this back end. I could go for Sucker Punch, which I might do and see if I can pick up KO here. Because if I can, that can be huge. Because if Sucker Punch can do it, that, that'd be real nice. It is stab. It is super effective. Let's see how this one plays out here. Protect him come out from Zassian. Show me you're faking out to Zassian. Let's see what he goes for here. He's going to go for Fake Out. Zassian is going to block it, which is wonderful. And can Sucker Punch pick up the KO? This could be amazing. Sucker Punch comes through. It does. Let's go. Let's go. So we get off another turn with Zassian. I think Zassian might outspeed Raichu. It's going to be cutting it close. Raichu is really, really fast. He is really, really fast. But we're going to be able to take out him. Buffets are going to fly through here. Zassian is down to one. He's down to pretty much one shot. And Raichu's down just as low. But he's probably going to bring back out Dragonite, if I had to guess. I cannot wait to get out this Milotic. Milotic can come in the back end and clutch up the battle for us. So I really like where we're sitting. We played the Dynamax out really well, and we still have our Pokemon in the back end of Dynamax. So this is huge. This is huge. With Raichu on low health, we know he has Dragonite, and my Milotic can just pretty much just dump on that Pokemon. And who's he going to send out here? He's going to send back out the Dragonite. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. So in this case, uh, I'm going to Sucker Punch you. See if I can KO you with a Sucker Punch. That could be really good. And then just Behemoth Blade onto uh, on the Dragonite here. Onto lovely little Dragonite. We might be able to get a double kill. We might not even need Milotic. Let's see. Extreme. Oh, this thing's rocking extreme speed. You buttery biscuit. Extreme speed comes through here. Nice little play. And then Sucker Punch is going to poke. And I'm hoping this can kill the Raichu. He does not know who we have in the back end. He does not know who we have. Sucker Punch poking. KO him. Let's go. Let's go. Grimstar on Sucker Punch clutching up right now. Two big KOs. It's looking good for us. It's looking real good for us. Now we're getting out the Pokemon that we want to showcase for today's video, Milotic, with that Life Orb. Cannot forget about the Life Orb. Cannot forget about the Life Orb. And I wonder who he's going to bring out here. I could see, um, 
Did he have uh, what's called on his team? Did he have Cinderace on his team? I think he had Liberia Cinderace, right? I can definitely say that as a back end Pokemon. Let's see who he throws out here. He's going to end up throwing out Liberia Cinderace. Okay, so Cinderace pokes out here. I could. I'm obviously going to die next year. Um, how many turns left in Light Screen? Do we even need it? I mean, I think both these guys are physical attackers. So in this case, I could bulk up. I could just Spear Break, which I think I'm going to do here. I think I am going to target down. What about target down? I think I'm going to have to target down you. Right? Because I feel like Dragonite doesn't really pose that big of a threat. I feel like Cinderace is the bigger threat here. And Cinderace is probably going to change typings. I'm not even going to lie. But I feel like I just have to hit this thing with a Max Geyser and get off some big damage. We got the orb and Cinderace is kind of lightweight. So maybe we could just take that thing out in one shot. That would be beautiful. It would be mwah, beautiful. It would be beautiful. But Life Form Miles to get in that Dynamax. Very, very bulky. Almost 400 HP. Almost 400. What more could you ask for for this Pokemon? Cinderace is just going to go into a Pyro Ball and stay fire. So he's dead. He's dead. My Grimstarl should be able to eat up whatever it is. Yeah, Grimstarl soaking that up all day. And what's Dragonite going for? He's going for a dual wing. Can you soak that up too? Well, you might go down here. You are going to go down here, but I'm chilling with this. I'm chilling with this all day. He gets a crit. He was going down anyway, but yo, Milotic's going to be able to max Geyser. Definitely take out uh, Cinderace, no problem. And then we just max Hailstorm and we take out the Dragonite as well. GG's, yo. That is GG's. Battle number one with Life Orb Milotic is looking wonderful. As long as this thing's not sashed. Cool. I was not expecting it to be sashed. Not at all. Not at all. So get that thing on out of here. We got rain. Let's just drop an ice move on this thing. And it's GG's. It is four times super effective. Four. So we know it's going to kill. We know it's going to kill. Even though it's like an icy wind Dynamax, it's still going to be able to kill. It is still going to be able to kill. Let's do it. Plus, he doesn't have multi skill if he was rocking with it. Let me see how much base power this is. Oh, it's 110. That's not bad. I thought it was going to be lower than that. I thought it was going to be lower than that considering icy wind so little. He's going to go for a dual wing bait. Bro, we eat that. That's a taste. Set. Actually, that's hitting a lot harder than I expected it to. That is hitting a lot harder than I expected to. But like I said, Hailstorm's going to poke here. That's GG's. That is GG's. Milotic coming in the back end and winning us this one. Great first battle showcasing his team. Really did like it. We got that Grimmsnarl out there with a few good sucker punches. Picked up two KOs. Saved our life for Milotic for the back. Dynamax and grabbed ourselves the win. We got a battle of the centuries for our next one. We got a Zatsin team, which is mine, versus his Zamazenta team. Let's get after it. Let's show him that we are better. He's got Togekiss. He's got Regilecki, a low and nine tails, who I really, really like. So we got to watch out for that Roar Veil setup. He also has Galarian Moltres, who's an absolute unit. Metagross and Zamazenta. So I think he's going to either Dynamax the uh, Moltres or the Metagross. So we definitely got to watch out for that. But who should I go into? How should I lead this? He has no Intimidate Mon, so competitive Milotic will not trigger here. He does have a Regilecki, who's kind of scary. Makes me kind of want to lead laners. But, hmm. Could go in with Incineroar. Incineroar is not bad. He is not bad for that physical attack drop. So I think I'm going to lead him. I might end up leading Zapdos as well. Zapdos is really, really good, and he might be our Dynamax Pokemon of choice. Definitely want to bring in Zacian, but I do not want to lead him. Either want to lead Zacian or Landorus. I'm thinking Zapdos might come in here. Could be a really good Mon. Could be a great little Mon. So I'm liking this all day. Let's go into Zapdos and then let's go Zacian and then Landorus. What do we think bring Grimstar or Milotic? I mean, I kind of, I kind of dig a Milotic here. Kind of digging Milo. Not even gonna lie. Let's go Milo. Let's lock this one in with one second left on the clock. We are playing dangerous. We are playing dangerous. We're definitely playing dangerous. But let's go back to back here. Let's grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. This guy is a pretty cool team. I I, I like. You don't really see Togekiss as much as you do anymore. Unless if you're playing BDSB, you see him all the time. But I miss the old Togekiss where it was running like Heat Wave, Dazzling Gleam, Air Slash, and it was just made for attacking. Now we only really see it for support. But he's going to go into Ninetales and Zamazetta, which I'm totally fine with. I think I just Dynamax my Zapdos, fake out and take out Ninetales. I'm kind of with it. I'm kind of with it because we are going to get that uh, attack drop onto that Zacian, which is great. He's a physical attacker. I'm just not... I do not want this guy to set up an Aurora Bell. Because Aurora Bell is deadly. We got a lovely Zapdos. I could go for the speed boost, but we kind of already have speed. So I could set terrain. Really whatever I want to do. What does Jeans want to do? I think we're just going to go straight into the fake out here. Fake out you. Dynamax. Oh, I could Eerie Impulse. Ooh. But again, I do not want him setting up that... Uh, that What's it called? I get speed boost. I think we need a bit more speed here. And plus it does more damage. I'll set the electric terrain probably next turn. We'll see how this guy plays this one. But we're going to Dynamax this after this. Get right after it. We'll have our Milotic in the back end. Milotic can bulk out a lot of Pokemon. So I'm digging it. Unless he has Regilecki. We know we are definitely in trouble if he has Regilecki. Regilecki is top tier. Top tier. Really fast. Hits like a truck. Probably run a focus at so can soak up a shot. 
but we'll see we'll see but usually people like to lead the reg lucky so fake out's gonna come out here hopefully he doesn't protect zamazena ooh zamazena protect show me this nine tails isn't protecting oh let's go let's go that's ggs isn't it that's ggs if we take out this nine tails here that's ggs right Oh my lord, yo. He protects Zamas at a thing we're coming after him. Nah, we're going straight after Nine Tails. And we don't take out. What you mean? We needed the Life Orb on that Zapdos, dude. That's why Zapdos rolls out with the Life Orb. Now he's going to get a Roar Bell up. Ah! Actually, no, he's flinched. He's flinched. And we have speed. And we have speed. Can. Can what's called outspeed? Can you outspeed and take you out? Who's actually faster? Let me see. Let me see the speeds here because Nine Tails is fast. But plus one. It's tough news. This is real tough. You know, we're just gonna go here. I'm gonna go flare blitz into Zamazetta, see how much damage we can do onto that thing. And then we'll go for lightning. We'll take out nine tails. Cause I do not think that my uh Incineroar is gonna be able to outspeed nine tails. We're only plus one and he's only 93 speed. So I think we have to take this advantage and take out the nine tails. That's tough news. And we'll go into a flare blitz here. Potentially we could parting shot next turn. We shall see how this one plays out. This one's going to be tough. This one's going to be tough. Because I really was counting on that KO coming out onto that Ninetales. The Lightning's going to fly here. We are going to definitely take out the Ninetales here. Get the thing out of here. Thank you, Lord. And now we're going to go into Flare Blitz, which I don't even think it's going to do more than half. But still, I have to I have to get some damage off of, off this beefy Zamazona. This beefy little boy. But if I can get uh, some nice damage onto the next Pokemon, he'll be good. But I think he is going to have a great dynamic next turn. He is going to end up Howling. Howling's going to boost his attack, right? I'm gonna boost his attack. I think it goes up plus one or is it plus two? Not too sure, but I'm gonna bop out here and get off some not bad damage. I really do like that damage. Another flare blitz might be able to take him out. So I could go for another airstream because the buffets are chipping away onto him, which is really good. I could go for another airstream just to get speed boost on my instant war and then go into another flare blitz. Which could be great. Which could be great. But we know Zama's out of this outspeed us, which is a little tough. He's gonna go on the Metagross and he is a 1000% Dynamax in that minute. No doubt in my mind. No doubt in my mind. We could go for a close combat. Which could be good. But Flare Blitz obviously is going to do a little bit more damage because it is sad. So I'm going to go into this. I think Lightning has to come out here, right? And we're going to go into the Metagross with this one. That's our play. This is our play. This is what we're doing. We're banking out on it. We know we both outspeed Metagross, but we do not outspeed. Well, only my Zapdos outspeeds the Zamazeta. So... I think my Incineroar should be able to eat up whatever Zamazetta has to offer. And in that case, we should be able to pick up a big KO. He protects Metagross. Okay. So Metagross gets to protect. I'm cool with that turn. That was kind of smart. And then Lightning's going to poke through here. Just do a little bit of damage. He's going to soak it up all day with that protect. Look at that. Look at him soaking that up. And our opponent's in a great position here. Kind of scared a little bit. He's just going to go for another Howl. And that's tough news. Doubling down on attack boost. That's fine. That's fine. Well, he's more so doing that for the Metagross, which is kind of smart. But Flare Blitz is going to come out here. It should be able to take this thing out alongside with the Buffett. So I'm with it all day. Take him out. Yes, sir. Okay. So you're out of here. We do outspeed. I am going to... Do I parting shot? It really depends who he brings out. Because we know that Metagross is clear body. So parting shot will not do anything. Or Intimidate will not do anything. And we know he's going to Dynamax the Metagross here. So we are sitting in such a tough spot here. I could go for a Flare Blitz and try to get off as much damage before I go out. But he is going to bring a Togekiss. And I believe... He is going to just follow me, right? I mean, I could go for the lightning move. I could go for the lightning move. Lightning can do some big old damage here. I believe the terrain gives it a boost, right? Electric terrain. Uh, no. What's it? Power of electric types boosted. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. cool. But it says uh, five hundred Pokemon on the ground won't won't fall asleep. Yeah, okay. So, hmm. That player. I want to see that Metagross' stats real quick. Is it plus one or plus two? Plus one. That's what I thought. Okay, so it's plus one. Uh, I don't want to just parting shot and dip, but at the same time, I just want to go for a flare blitz here. Drop a T bolt. I mean, we're still sitting at full health, which I really like. But he has two Pokemon left, so if I just start targeting down and getting off some damage, we could get a big old victory here. Because both my Pokemon should be faster than him. And if he goes to follow me, he goes to follow me. It's all good. But there's Dynamax in the menu. We knew that was coming out. We knew that was coming out, but is it too late for him? We still have Urzassian, which outspeeds him. Has a fighting move, which is great. Which is great. It'll be super... Oh, wait just a minute. Yo, wait just a minute. Dynamax Togi. Actually, this is this works even better. We have Zassian. Behemoth Blade. Dynamax Togus. Super effective. Double damage. Stab. GG's. Right? GG's. Thunderbolt's gonna come out here. Is this thing policy? I don't think it's policy. It's not. It is not policy. 
But what's this poking out here? Yeah, send it. And get off some huge damage. That's GG's. That is GG's, yo. Are we gonna sweep? Or is he taking out one of my Pokemon here? Let's see. Let's see. Because if not, we're bringing out Zass in here. We have our nice, lovely little Citrus Berry here. Giving us some more HP. But yeah, I'm surprised he didn't Dynamax that Metagross. I thought it was just gonna be following me on Togi. Airstream's gonna fly through here. Can we eat this up? Oh, you went after Zapdos. He went that speed boost. I think he went the speed boost and then uh, have Metagross take out my Incineroar, but it's not happening. It's not happening. That's GG's. That is G to the G's. Do, 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 boom. Mm, 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 mm. I'm going to try to stay in for the sweep here. I'm going to try to stay in for the sweep. I think a Flare Blitz and maybe a Thunderbolt can pick up the KO. I could go for an Eerie Impulse if I really wanted to, but let's see if he cancels. Let's see if there's a cancel here because we're not clutching up with the Togekiss. He doesn't even know we have Zassian in the back end. It's over with. It is over with. And we have Milotic who can pretty much outbeat this thing. Slow it down with Icy Wind and pretty much win the battle. It's over with. But I want the sweep. But I want the sweep. You guys know over here on the Jeans YouTube channel. We go for sweeps when we have the chance. We have the chance here. I'm going to try to not let you guys down. Let's see. This dude's like contemplating doing a bunch of calculus to see how he can actually win this ma match. <laughs> he has pen and paper out. Solving algebra equations. If Jeans misses his move, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but we're going to bring Sing down to yell. He might pick up KO. We might not get the sweep. Where's going to come through here? We should be able to soak that up. No, we don't. Dang it. I was going to say, that's coverage. That's coverage move. And he gets a crit. That's why, yo. Come on, yo. Our sweep goes down for nothing. But you best know we're bringing out Sassy. And we're hitting this thing with a behemoth blade to win it. Actually, this Flare Woods might be able to take out now. Considering we have Drought. Let's make it happen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Drought damage. Boosting that up. And we pick up a nice little win here. We didn't even bring in one other Pokemon. Or Zathos just went down at the end. But that's 2-0. Oh. Let's hop into a third. Let's grab ourselves that perfect record. We are just steamrolling opponents with this team. I'm loving it so much. But we're going up against a really, really cool team in our third and final battle. We're looking for that perfect record. He's got the Groudon, Charizard, and Venus for combo. So all that kind of pairs through a drought. But then he also has Dragapult on team. And anytime I see Dragapult, I just think it's a cool team because Dragapult is super, super cool. He also has Glary Moltres. And last but not least, he has Storm Drain Gastronaut, which he's probably not going to bring in here. Because I'm probably not even going to bring my Milotic. I'm probably not bringing it. Actually, Milotic could be good. It could be good. It's got, uh, it could change up weather. So I might bring it. I just have to watch out for that Storm Drain Gastronaut because that could definitely be scary. But who should I go into this one? How should I lead it? I think Zassian could be good alongside with Grimstarl. I definitely want to lead Grimstarl. We can set up a late screen up against a lot of these special attackers. I think Incineroar could be good as well, but I might just lead Zapdos here. I might lead the Zapdos. I kind of think if we can take speed control, we can hit pretty hard onto the Charizard. We can hit hard onto the Venusaur. Hit hard onto the Moltres. So yeah, let's bring Zapdos in here. Uh, who else should I go into? Hmm. Could try to get speed control with Milo. Try to use her a little bit more. Yeah, let's go Milo as a lead. We'll bring, we won't bring Grimstar. We'll bring Zacian. And I think Landris. I don't really care if I win this battle or lose it. I'm just trying to, you know, uh, use the Pokemon that we haven't used yet. I'm trying to showcase everything through its fullest potential. Because we use Grimstar. I think, did we use him twice or we only use him one time? We only use him one time, but we use him a lot in battle. We used him a lot in Battle Normal. We got the light screen off. We got the sucker punches. We kind of showcased what he can do. But I wasn't going to lead him here. But I, I was just like, yo, let's go into Milotic. Let's try to take speed control that way. Let's try to take speed control. But if he leads Venusaur, we're sitting in a tough position. Let's see. Let's see who he goes into. Oh, no, come on, man. What you mean? Tough news. Tough news. Okay, so Milotic is after going to come out here. I am going to just go into an airstream onto the Venusaur. And I think in this case, we, we do not have protect. So I might just hard swap here. I might just have to hard swap here. So obviously, we're going to... Oh, I could Eerie Impulse. We don't outspeed him, though. That's, that's the problem here. We're just going to go into an airstream here. And what's the plan here, Jeans? Swap Lando? <laughs> I don't know. What do I do? We get the Zassian speed boost, because Zassian can outspeed a lot after that. So, I mean, but if he goes for... I don't think he's going for a ground move. Actually, he could be going for a ground move. He probably only has a ground and a fire move. I'm gonna go into Lando here. I'm gonna go into Lando. Just get that intimidate drop onto the ground on. I think that could be good. That could definitely be good. I'm not dealing with that. I'm not dealing with this Venusaur. Yo, Venusaur is so strong, and I'm really scared of this Pokemon. So let's see if he's Dynamax. And Intimidate's gonna come out here. Minus one onto the ground on his physical attack. That's fine. It doesn't affect Venusaur because he's special attacking. And is he gonna Dynamax? He is indeed. Venusaur gets the Dynamax. We're Dynamaxing Zapdos. We are getting after it. I think the uh, G-Max Vine Lash is probably coming into the Lando slot. Which we do have an Assault Vest, so we know we can pretty much soak this one up. So I'm kind of with it. Unless he's oozing. I do not really see him oozing, though. 
He could. He could potentially ooze to get that special attack boost. But we're going to airstream, get a speed boost for the squad, and see how we can play this battle after this one. Maybe he's going for a ground move. That would be lovely. If he goes for a ground move, that could be awesome because we have two flying Pokemon out on the field. Maybe he was just like, I'll have this thing with a ground move since Milotic's on the field. But I really don't see that happening. I see him kind of going for a Vine Lash into my lander slot where my Milotic was, and then sliding over with maybe like a fire move into my uh, Zapdos slot. But we shall see. Zapdos gets that Dynamax. Loving this Pokemon. And what's he going to go for here? Vine Lash? Yeah, Vine Lash coming through here. Want the Lando, right? Lando's able to eat up all day. Assault Best? I love you. I love you, Assault Best. <laughs> Assault Best coming in clutch. But that, that, that Vine Lash damage is going to be chipping on us. Airstream's coming through here, getting off some huge damage, and more importantly, giving us a great little speed boost. So we know Landers outspeeds the, uh, the Groudon now. Hopefully, the Groudon's not going after us. Again, I do not see it happening. I see, like, a fire move coming through. Rock Slide. So he slides onto us, which we eat up, which is great. So we eat up. Vine Lash is chipping away, and I wonder who he's going for. I definitely want to go for another Airstream. He might, he might guard here, which could be a play. And in this case, I could just, uh, I definitely want to Airstream post this threat right here. Could EQ. I could U turn. U turn could be nice here. I do. Do we see him garden? I don't know. We have to. We have to send that just in case. But you know, I'm gonna EQ here. Go for stab. And get off some damage on that ground on. Let's see what he does. He could guard. He could 100% guard and go for another rock slide. Let's see. Now he's gonna straight up ooze. So ooze gonna come out here. He's gonna get a boost on to Zapdos, but it don't matter. I'm surprised he actually went after Zapdos. This is fine. This is totally fine by me. Because Airstream's going to KO this Venusaur. My Landers is now going to outspeed here. And he's going to get off an EQ before he goes out. Because I think this thing is going to drop another Rock Slide. And KO my Landers. But yo, I love what we're saying. I love what we're saying. We're going to have one more Dynamax turn here. I could probably just bring out Zassian and pretty much just roll out this battle. Or I can now bring back out Milotic. Who could be good? Who could be good? We shall see. We shall see. Actually, I kind of do not want the Milotic out here with the Drought going on. But it really depends. I think he has to throw out a Pokemon first, right? Unless he KOs my Lando. But decent damage here. Rock Slide's going to poke here. And Lando survives. But you guys already know. The Vine Lash damage is going to take a while. That's rough news. Rough news. The god dang Vine Lash damage. That, the Hydro Cannon damage, and the uh, Wildfire damage. All three of the Canto starters with their G-Max boost. I think they're OP. I really do think they're OP. It's just a ridiculous amount of damage coming out. We're going to bring out Zacian here. Just pose to Uchret. Does he have any Intimidate mods? I'm trying to think of his team. I wish you could check his team like in this little stage. But I'm trying to think. He has the ground on. He has the Charizard. He has Dragapult. He has Moltres. Okay, I don't think he has any Intimidate, right? And he has Gastron. And he has Gastron. So, if he has Gastron, we're going to have to get rid of it before my Milotic comes in here, which could be scary. He's going to bring out Polt here. The Polt Ski comes out. So, Polt's uh, poking here. I still have another Dynamax turn. And I think I'm just going to go into an Airstream. My Zapdos should be fastest on the field. You know, we'll just go into an Airstream, boost the speed of Zacian, and I'm just going to Behemoth Blade right in the ground onslaught. Right into this crowd on slot. Let's do it. Let's get it done. Because that does 100% fast on the field. It's plus two. It's plus two on the lovely speed board. Dragapult might try to dip out with like a Phantom Force. But we're going to outspeed it and shoot first. So we'll see how much damage we can do. And we'll see what it does. The Airstream comes out here. Huge damage on that thing. Bring it down to red. And I'm kind of hoping it goes for a Phantom Force. Oh, we get a crit. That's a lovely little crit. That's a lovely little crit. You love getting crits. But two shots would have taken it out anyway. So crit really didn't matter for there. Behemoth Blade is going to fly through here. And I think this KOs to uh, Groudon, right? Groudon is a little beefy, but we're plus one. It's Behemoth Blade. You guys know that's some huge damage. Let's make it happen. We do not, yo. Both down to the red. That's rough. Phantom Force does come out, so he was trying to dip out on the shot, which I do not mind one bit. I do not mind one bit. So, in this case, what do I go for? He goes for Blades. Oh. Oh, he's minus one. Can you eat, Zacian? All day. All day, Zaz. Okay. So, who's he going for? Oh, my Lord. I hate this game. I hate this game. So, he's going to protect probably the Groudon, right? He's going to protect Groudon. I'm probably going to Roost here. I think I have to roost here, right? I think I have to roost. We got to get HP back with my boy. So let's roost here. And I have to go. Actually, I could protect you. Or I could set up a sub. I play. What's my play? What is the Gene's play? I think we just protect here. I'm going to protect. And hope that the Zassian goes after my... Uh, or not Zassian. I hope the Dragapult goes after my bird. My bird could potentially soak it up. Ground's going to protect here as well. That's totally fine. We're roosting. We are indeed roosting. We've kind of seen that protect coming out. But here comes the roost. Give me my HP back. Yes, sir. Big old roost. HP back on the board. And he's going to go for Phantom Force into you. Okay. 
Oh my god, that KOs you. Dragon Pulse so good. He gets a crit, yo. What you mean? Dang, dude, his crit matters. Mine did not matter. Mine did not matter because we didn't pick up the KO. We did not pick up the KO, but we are able to uh, survive one more turn. So now I can bring out Milo Milo and just Icy Wind. He's probably going to Phantom Force, right? We got to hope he doesn't have Storm Dragon Ash now because if he does, that's tough news. That is tough news, but you know, I'm just going to go for uh, going to go for an Icy Wind or I could Coil set up. Coil could be nice. Coil could be really nice, but I do not want to do it. I'm just going to go into an Icy Wind here and I think we just have Dragapult or not Dragapult, Zacian take out this uh, Dragapult. Was actually in shit out speed with plus one. No, oh, Dragon Ball could protect. It could be rock and protect. I think it is with this moveset. Let's see. Nope. It's not protecting. Behemoth Blade comes through here. We take him out. And he still has one more back end Pokemon. He still has one more back end Pokemon. It's going to come down to the wire here because we take you out here and he's definitely going for a blade. So, mm, I don't know what's going to happen. He's going to turn into a 1v1. Who's he going to bring out? Oh, my. I'll take out speed you. Oh, my God. That's lovely. That is lovely. So, he keeps asking for another turn unless Vine Lash is still chipping away. And it might be, but I think it might go away. Hopefully it goes away. Show me that's away. Show me that's away. Our sunlight fades, and I think it's gone. I think it's gone. Oh my god, let's go. Let's go. It's gone. We have Zassian for another turn. Who's going to be able to outspeed? Oh, that's pretty much solidifying the battle. And he's going to bring out... Oh, he brings out Charizard. That is lovely. But he does have some really good moves. But it's it's over with. It's GG's. It's GG's. We're just going to Muddy Water here. Even though we hit up... Oh no, we do not hit up on Zassian. And I guess we'll just bleed. I mean, it's Stab. This stab. Hmm. Yeah, we'll try to get off as much damage as we can, but we should be sitting in a great spot. I'm guessing this thing probably has Solar Beam, but Behemoth Blade still should be able to do a huge chunk of damage, especially on Charizard. You know, Charizard's kind of lightweight on the defense. Board. Yeah, look at that. Yo, that's GG's. That's GG's. That's a huge chunk of damage. That's a huge chunk of damage. Heatwave's going to poke through here. That's going to take out Zacian and our lovely Milotic. The Pokemon that we want to showcase all along is going to pick up the final KO and grab ourselves that perfect record. Grabbing ourselves that perfect record. We're burned. We gotta hope we actually connect with this first. So let's make this happen. He's gonna take some HP damage. Muddy Water misses. <gasps> let's breathe here. Let's breathe. Let's breathe, yo. I swear, yo. If this thing air slashes and makes me flinch, I'ma lose my mind. I'ma lose my mind. Going into this Muddy Water. Milotic. Come on, yo. What's he going for? He's protecting. So he just wants burn the chip away. He's just having burn chip away. I should have I should have recovered there. That would have been hilarious. That would have been hilarious. But we'll see. We'll see how this one plays out. Oh my lord. I'm shaking in my boots, dude. Airside, yo, I swear, if you get the flinch. Come on, yo. Muddy water. Connect! Yes, thank the lord. Thank the lord. That would have been awful. I, I knew he was going into air slash. I knew he was looking for a flinch, but yo, we're just better than that. My Milotic is just better than that. No flinches for him. We grab ourselves that perfect record. This team is a powerhouse. I'm telling you guys, rent this team if you want to push high ranks. It's really, really strong and really fun considering you have Life Orb Milotic. So it's kind of a change of pace from just using Zacian and Life Orb Zathos and just dominating battles that way. So I really did have fun using it. We got to show off the Milotic battle number one and battle number three. And I'm kind of surprised we didn't get to show off its competitive ability triggering. Considering Intimidate's very prevalent in the meta, and we didn't really get to see it today, but yo, it's all good. We had a great video today, showcased this whole team to its fullest potential, got to use each and every single one of these Pokemon, and more importantly, grab ourselves a perfect record. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me, and if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.